Hey, what's going on guys? I just wanted to go over some recent purchases that are going to include some sealed product, some stuff I'm sending off to PSA, and then I got sent some Champions Path packs from uh, my business partner, MCA Collects, which you'll see tagged in. Uh, if you guys are looking for any upcoming sealed product or anything, uh, give us a shout and we'll try to get you guys the best deals we can on newer products uh, for Pokemon, that is. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to start with so I recently got two base set two packs in. Uh, both of them actually weighed heavy, which is which is pretty cool. Uh, this one weighed twenty one point, I was like two six or so, and then this one was twenty one point zero six. So this one's kind of, it's it's kind of on the fence as that uh, heavy light. Uh, so it could go either ways. Uh, for the one that was definitely heavy, I ended up opening it up and pulled a Scyther, which is pretty cool. Uh, you guys probably already saw that on the feed absolutely gorgeous um there was a couple white nicks so i definitely won't pull a 10 uh, looking at a nine for that one but still happy with it gonna gonna send all those actually off to get graded including the commons and uncommons i still have this neo destiny light set or theme deck available if anybody's interested uh, you can't go wrong with these obviously it's not the dark one which is the more sought sought after one but still pretty cool all right, here's what we're looking at for the last two weeks. I sent off about 100 cards on Friday, a couple express. Uh, these are going to be going off next. So we've got a beautiful Blastoise, Lieutenant Surge's Raichu, Japanese Venusaur, regular base set Venusaur, Shadowless Polyrath, first edition Slow Key, Shining Noctowl. Shining Magikarp. Six Charizard V promos. If you guys aren't stacking these up sub 20 bucks, uh, I think you guys are going to regret it. If, if you kind of look at what uh, Hidden Fates promos have done, which is, what, 50, 60 bucks a pop right now, uh, definitely Charizards are going to go higher than that. So stack them up, get them graded, or just keep them, keep them sealed. I don't think you can go wrong either way. Uh, and then I had a recent bulk lot the, of Japanese that ended up coming with a bunch of these band cards. Uh, so here's three trainers. The rest, I actually, there were the the peeping grammars. Those are already all gone. They, I sent those off to PSA. I want to say it was, it was five or six of those, but was definitely happy with those. Uh, regular Pikachu, and then some base set unlimited, and then this is what I got from the base set two pack. So nothing fancy on there, but. When you're looking at tens and what tens have gone up to recently, which is, you know, just for the uncommons and commons is crazy. I mean, you're looking at like 50 to 70 bucks per 10. And then the last two is going to be a Dark Espeon and then a Gyarados, which I got from a Overgrowth theme deck. Um, it wasn't in it was beautiful condition, but there's, if you can see it right here, there's a Nick in the hollow or through the card. Uh, so definitely not going to pull a 10 from that. And then there's another one here. But we'll see. Uh, I'm looking at probably like an 8. And so let's get into it. Everybody's favorite set. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see what everybody thinks of these. Uh, for Champion's Path. Uh, my opinion, I haven't had luck with this. I've opened up 100. Let me, I'm trying to cut a seal on these. 124 Champion's Path booster packs and have not pulled one Charizard. I've had, I know MCA Collects has pulled two of them. He's pulled a V and a VMAX and one of my buddies pulled three in the same night. Absolutely crazy. But we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. And they use some serious tape on this. Alright. We're not going to these ones we're just going to pop open because I don't really want to deal with it. So let's just get into it. A little bit of an awkward opening for the for the beginning, but hey, if it pays off, it pays off, right? All right, we're going to do it this way. We're just going to pop open both of them just to get this trash out of my hands. All right, let's do one massive pack right here. 
Ekans potion. Ooh, nice little hollow energy. And hop. Not a bad first pack. Set those up here. Great ball. Malamar code card. Nicket, another Ekans. Carvana. So in my opinion, I'm not the biggest fan of Champion's Path. Uh, when I look at it, I mean, there's a lot of Vs. People are having pretty good pulls off of them uh, for those. But when you're looking at chase cards, you really only have the Charizards. Uh, when you look at Hidden Fates, obviously, I mean, you have just so much. You have all the Shinies to go for. You have just a regular Charizard GX. Um, multiple cards that are over $50 when you're looking at a profit standpoint. That's not counting grading. Uh, so there's just more to it. I think it's it's much more fun to open. Just I mean, you're happy if you just get a regular shiny rare, like not even a full art. Another. Okay. Might have to take back what, what I said. Uh, it's three pulls from three packs. Let's see if we can keep it up. Um, I, I actually don't know what these are from. I, I want to say they're probably from a double. Um, I've opened so many of these Elite Trainer boxes. Not had really luck out of there. I probably won't open another one of those. I'll probably just keep those sealed. Uh, just because I think they'll they'll be better for the long run. Um, but generally, people are getting double pulls. And then I think the most for Charizards have been pin collections, which is absolutely crazy. Let's keep going, though. Four for four. Man, what is in these packs? Well, we'll see if uh, if they can hold up. One thing I'm really not the biggest fan of that a lot of people do is the card trick. I know some people like it, some people like to do guess the energy, but in my opinion, I just want to leave it kind of how they are. A lot of people just fast forward through these videos anyways. Uh, just looking for chase cards and then they're on to the next. Uh, oh, what is this? Oh, I sent two. There's one. Oh, that was nice. Two free Vs. If you guys are looking for, for sealed product, like, yeah, definitely definitely hit us up. Uh, we're pretty new when it comes to distribution. We just recently got into it. Uh, so we're still building up allocation for what we can get. Uh, so the more orders we put in, the more for the long run it'll work out. And another V. Man. I think you just gave us all the good packs. I'm actually not sure how many we opened. One, two, three, four, five, six packs. So there's eight in here total. And not counting his two, that's two, four, five pulls. So maybe I'll have to take back what I said. But it's kind of hard. I do think uh, Hidden Fates is the best, and I think most people would agree. I uh, haven't been able to find some yet. I don't know if it's due to just people just liquidating them as soon as they see them at the stores. Um, but hey, one day, I'm sure around holidays, we you still got Black Friday coming up as well as Christmas. All right, last pack and a hollow. So, still no Charizard. So, now it's up to what was that? Eight packs, uh, 132 packs, and no Charizards. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys have a good one.